evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Yenji Denise. Honolulu's energy costs have gone up by millions in just the last two years. And if costs don't come down, you could see higher property taxes and fees on top of your own power bills. KITV Force Andrew Pereira goes behind the numbers and joins us with our top story at six. Andrew. Yanji Paul, the rising cost of energy will be one of the themes in Mayor Kirk Caldwell's State of the City address this Wednesday. Whether it's street lights or the city's fleet of vehicles, powering Honolulu is pricey. Those are costs we can control. We can do something about it. But in the past two fiscal years, Honolulu's energy costs continue to climb. In fiscal year 2013, the city spent $91.8 million on all forms of energy, including fuel. Just two years earlier, it was $76.4 million, a difference of $15.4 million. Mayor Kirk Caldwell is well aware of it. I think it's incumbent on us as an island community to, to be, do better with our energy resources, not shipping our short capital out this off of this island, but keeping it here. Although the current price of regular unleaded is 15 cents less per gallon than it was in 2011, the city used nearly 300,000 gallons more. And despite using 9.9 .9 million kilowatt hours less electricity in 2013 compared to 2011, electricity costs rose 12.1 million. A result of climbing rates such as the one HECO charges for street and park lighting, up nearly three cents per kilowatt hour since 2011. The city has installed 627 kilowatts of PV toward its goal of one megawatt of renewable energy. However, the city has no PV projects under design and construction. Well, I'd like to hear that we are moving forward on a lot of the projects that should have been done a while ago. During Wednesday's State of the City speech, the mayor will announce a plan to do just that. The best way to um, save on energy costs is just conservation. Caldwell wants to replace 45,000 to 50,000 city streetlights on Oahu with LED lamps, which use 40% less energy. A pilot project that installed 180 LED lamps last year was a success. And saving on energy could be the difference in how much you pay in taxes and fees. If our expenses are going up, then our revenue has to increase, which means increased fees, taxes. So, you know, let's do the other way and start cutting and conserving. Another example of how the city can lower its energy costs, just recently, Councilwoman Kobayashi got the administration to raise the thermostat in her office. It used to read 51 degrees. Paula Yunji will send it back to you.